<laughs> Is there film here? Yeah, there is. <laughs> oh, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, should we talk about like? So you've used it once. I've used it. Uh, yeah, I used it once for like four days. And you just barely got it. I used two rolls. I shot like six rolls. It's very easy because I don't shoot 120, and it was like a, a big point and shoot for me. But, yeah. I just put it on auto, mm. and I let it do its thing. Did you use the meter at all, or did you? Yeah, I used the meter. It was really accurate. It's Spot so on. nice. The meter is so good. I love the focusing too. The focusing is so easy. It is. Yeah. That was my learning curve though. Was the what do you call that? It's the, a rangefinder. The rangefinder. Yeah. Mm. And like trying to because I was taking a picture of all these trees and I was like, I don't know which tree is which. Which is the <laughs> one to <laughs> So I used like the mountains in the back to oh. map it. Hi, my name is Kelsey and um I have chronic hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> I have the hiccups every day. <laughs> that, that's what I like about this too, is it's light. It is and light. And it contacts like kind of a lot, but it's nice that it goes from big to being like travel size. Like I wore it like I would wear my purse. Yeah. And I just like rode my bike. Spin it around. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And I just took some pictures by the lake. Oh, that's cool. It's really I'll show you. Okay, I'm gonna see. They're really cute. I want to add, this is easy to load. Very easy. So easy to load. load like because I was scared because every time I've loaded a camera, Anthony's had to help me <laughs> or like supervise. And when I loaded it by myself, I was like, Kels, oh, good job. That was so easy. It's just a giant 35. So it has three interchangeable lenses, but it's only compatible with the three lenses that are made by Mimeo for this camera. There's a 50, a 75, and I think it's a 150. Um, the lens is super easy to change out. It's even really nice too, because on the bottom of the camera, there's like a safety seal. So if you want to switch lenses in between rolls, you can just sort of like cover the film, pop the lens off, put the other one on, and then it'll just pop right back open. So that's really cool. If you do want to like change lenses or if you want to change focal lengths or anything like that. Um, the only thing I don't like about some of the lenses is they don't open super wide. I think on the 75, it opens to 3.5, and then on the 50, it only goes to 4. So if you ever want to do any close-up portraits or anything like that, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> um, but other than that, for like landscape, around the house, even like waist-up portraits, anything like that, it's did you take any portraits off? I did. The portraits came out beautiful. The only problem is, is the minimum focus distance is like a meter, which yeah. is like three feet. And so you can't get super close. But I mean, the portraits still look beautiful, but it renders like just tones wonderfully. So, I mean, if you're fine with taking a portrait three feet away, not super wide open, then it's a it's a great yeah. portrait camera. But. Uh, I'm Riley and I've been stabbed before. By my friend. By my Better friends. or worse? <laughs> oh, he's still my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say it's something I hate, but something I've always been jealous about is once you have the roll in there, you are tied to that roll until you finish it. So for people who are familiar with either like possible ads or yep, for switching backs to go from color to black and white, they have that added luxury. This, you are in it until the roll is done. It also only goes up to one five hundredth of a second. Oh, that's true. Which is fairly slow, um, especially for like such a newer camera, because these were made in what, like the yeah. mid early two thousands. I think so. And so that's also something considered, but it really isn't too much of a problem because my RB only goes to one four hundredth of a second. My Yashica only goes to one three hundredth of a second. Really? And then my other cheek goes up to like my So it's pretty, I guess it's kind of standard, but also like, it's still slow. The thing is plastic, but I mean, it's not like a bad plastic. It feels well made, 
I mean, you're always gonna have cameras, like the Contax G2, that's just like titanium, it just feels nice. I mean, this still feels nice, but it is plastic, but I've never heard of anybody like having that big of a problem. It's, it's pretty tough. I'm Anthony, and I guess my one thing is that I met my wife in eighth grade health class, and it's the only person I've ever been with. Aww, <laughs> oh, that's kind of so in eighth grade. So it's in eighth grade. Um, one other thing though that Kelsey learned is there are no autofocus options at all on this thing. It is all manual focus, so if you don't feel confident in your focus or your focus with using a rangefinder, just keep practicing and get better. But if I can do it, you can do it. True. Yeah, it's it's much easier than people think. Yes. And the rangefinder patch is in a good spot, so you're never like covering it with your hand. Yes. And with the, the flash, it syncs up to all the way up to 500 of a second. Oh, I know that. That's rad. So it, you can put a flash on it and it will sync with any of the speeds. So that's nice. But it, it, it just does everything well. The viewfinder is so bright and beautiful. I love the frame lines. The frame lines are also very bright. The rangefinder patch is easy to focus with. It's um, I was going to say, that was the thing that sold it for me because I tested a Fuji 6 7 from a friend, and it was a rangefinder, and I was familiar with that. But the rangefinder patch on that was just like this tiny little hole. So then when I tested this and I saw how big the square was, I was so it's, it, it's expensive. It's expensive, but you get what you pay for. Yeah. Usually on eBay or from resellers, they kind of start around in the 2800 to 3000 area. Um, it is a very expensive camera. Mm -hmm. But I was really hesitant, but I knew for me I wanted something that was manual. I didn't have to worry about interchanging backs or backs breaking. And I wanted something that I could detach the lens in case the lens needed to be cleaned or anything like that. So I was in it for the long haul, so I put the money down and I don't regret it. If you want lots of little cameras or one good camera, this, this is, is the one you want. Because I've got lots of little dinky ones but I would trade all of them just for one good one. We were on his couch and he had, I'm gonna use you as an example. Okay. I'm sitting here, my best friend, you're sitting there. I'm your best friend. Yeah, of course. He had my dad's switchblade in one hand, this hand right here. And then he had a toy giraffe in this hand, but I wanted to play with the toy giraffe. It was my turn, he had it for long enough. <laughs> So I went over to grab the toy giraffe, and when I reached over, it opened the switchblade. And then he kept wanting to play with the giraffe, and so he wouldn't let go. So I had to yank it out of his hand. So when I yanked it, then I just went. <laughs> and the doctor who stitched me up said it was like a few centimeters away from like the tendon that moves your pinky. Oh, okay. And so if he would have cut that off, I would not have ever been able to even. Oh my gosh, wait. So you're playing with a toy giraffe. How old were you? 17? <laughs> we were 16. No. Oh my we god. Were, I thought you were gonna we be were like 8 or 10. No, we, I was like, the way he's telling us no. he was older. We were we were 18 actually. Yeah. That was crazy.